Hey, what's up everyone? This is Minnesota Mike back with you for another video. This is another one in my vlog series that I do through the Memphis Songwriters Association in conjunction with the blog that I write for them talking all about songwriting and what has worked for various artists over the course of a handful of years, whether those songs have been hits or not. So this latest kick that I'm on is called Escapism. Last week we looked at Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes by Jimmy Buffett, as well as Old Blue Chair by Kenny Chesney. And this week we're going to start off by looking at El Matador by Semisonic. So El Matador was uh, written and composed by Semisonic's drummer Jake Schlichter and closes out its parent album All About Chemistry. It weaves the tale of a young matador who is currently in his off-season and trying to soak up what's left of summer. Where he is most at peace is by the ocean, and his desire is to ride the waves into the future. He says, looking through my dark glasses, I see the smiles on the faces of friends, but time keeps pushing me on now, and I'll ride this wave till the end. It paints such a vivid picture. September and the trees are restless, wind chimes blow in the dark, lying on the couch defenseless, blue clouds cord and spark. In all likelihood, a Joni Mitchell reference there, by the way. Uh, as a whole, the song was written as a reflection while Jake was preparing to uh, turn 40, hence the line about driving off the end of a decade, which I used when I turned 30. The band is still going strong in their 60s, and when Semisonic played the song at First Avenue recently, uh, lead singer Dan Wilson got a chuckle uh, out of thinking 40 was an old age. But melodically, the song is written in the key of G major. It alternates between uh, G and C, but then adds a D at the end of each verse, which is a 1-4-5 pattern. It also modulates to uh, E major during the Say Goodbye to the Weekend portion and uh, uses uh, a 1-4 pattern of E and A there. Then it switches to F major for the last verse, uh, the aforementioned September and the Trees are Restless, uh, using a 1-4 progression of F sharp and B. In addition to piano, the song contains guitar, drums, and synthesizers. It's a relatively sparse arrangement, and the lyrics are straightforward, but still massively poetic, and that combination works very, very well for the song. So structurally, this song could have easily gone uh, in my Unorthodox Song Structures blog and vlog kick, which is coming up in a little bit, but uh, the reason for that is that it uses four verses in a row. And then it's followed by a chorus, two more verses, and another chorus. But let's think about this narrator for a second. He's just uh, gotten done with his busiest time of year, so obviously his thoughts are going to be a little bit scattered. So not having a predictable structure uh, works tremendously well. It's just, hey, these are the thoughts, and sometimes I have more thoughts than others, and then other times I can, you know, make it a little bit concise in the way that a chorus would be. So that structure, like I said, works tremendously well. Uh, just as a little closing time note, uh, I do love the song Closing Time, as does Dan Wilson, the guy who wrote it, the lead singer of Semisonic. But uh, it really bothers me every single day that All About Chemistry, like I said, the parent album of El Matador, didn't see the same success uh, when it's got some of my favorite writing from the band. El Matador uh, is linked below, but please take some time to listen to the whole album, which is also linked below. Uh, when you get a second, uh, you'll be a better writer for it. I am Minnesota Mike. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, make sure you check out all of my other vlogs, uh, as well as all my blogs on the Memphis Songwriters Association website. Thank you very much.